Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Ocker Unify here. Thank you all for checking out my video. Talk about Championship Sunday, the real last uh, full Sunday of football for this NFL season. And we have two great games. We have the Patriots going to take on the Broncos, and we have the 49ers going to take on the Seahawks. I'm going to give a little prediction, a little preview. The prediction will probably be wrong, but the preview will be very good. You know, I'm 4-4 four and four for the playoffs. I was 3-1 and one wild card weekend, 1-3 and three last weekend. So, 500. Nice and mediocre. So, let's get into it. The first game Sunday will be the Patriots going to take on the Denver Broncos. This is Brady versus Manning 4 for the playoffs. Uh, right now, Brady and the Patriots are up 2-1 to one on Manning. You know, uh, both those wins coming in Foxborough and Manning winning the most recent game back in 2007 in Indianapolis. So, it kind of feels like whoever's home is uh, usually the one coming up on top. You know, throughout the series between Brady and Manning, whoever is really playing at home is usually the one to win. As you know, Manning's usually beaten Brady in Indianapolis and Brady beats Manning in New England. So this game's at Denver, so I think this will eventually hold off into Denver's favor. So we're going to come down to one thing for the Broncos. Can they stop a Garrett Blunt? You know, Tom Brady was pretty good versus the Colts last weekend. He wasn't great. You know, he didn't have to really do anything. He just handed the ball off, and uh, if as long as he didn't make a mistake, they were going to win that game easily, and they did. You know, basically it's going to come down to who makes the big mistake. You know, last week the Patriots versus the Colts, they made the mistake. Andrew threw four interceptions. Now, three of them were kind of, eh, but he threw four interceptions. And granted, as bad as the Colts played all day, they were down seven in the fourth quarter with the ball, the chance to tie the game up, and then the game got blown open from there. So it be interesting to see how uh, Denver goes and attacks that Patriot defense because Andrew Luck and the Colts did a very good job with LeVon Brazil, Kobe Fleener, T.Y. Hill, and all had pretty good games, and they're not anywhere near the level of explosive that the Denver Bronco offense has. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Keep Tlaib's going to be able to stop Eric Decker and how they're going to be able to contain Wes Welker because you know he wants a shot at these guys and he wants to beat them to go to the Super Bowl. So the Patriots offensively, they got to run, they got to run, they got to run. You know, they're so banged up on offense, as we all know. And well, Garrett Blunt's been a huge surprise for him. He's played great for them down the stretch. A lot of uh, teams that were giving up on him, you know, he's finally found his spot. Hopefully he can be able to uh, be successful there throughout a short career. But so are they going to be able to run the ball? Denver knows what's coming. They know they're going to be able to run the ball. And they have the bodies to stop it, unlike the Indianapolis Colts. I don't think Garrett Blunt's going to get out and uh, be able to pound the Broncos like he, they were able to pound the Indianapolis Colts. So the game's at home. The game's in Denver. So we won't see any of them nice uh, Tom Brady gift calls that the Patriots like to get. And then, uh, I kid, but not really. But, yeah, I think the Denver Broncos will win this game by a touchdown. Um, Paid Manning's having a year, uh, career year, you know, best year by any QB ever. I think it's time for him to go to the Super Bowl because this might be the last time they play. And it'll be uh, great for the Peyton Manning story arc to finally slay the dragon once and for all and go to the Super Bowl and then right off into the sunset. So I predict the Broncos to win 31-23 to in a uh, game that gets blown open late. The afternoon game, late evening game, will be the... Seahawks taking on the 49ers. This game is going to go as far as the referees are going to let it go. There's going to be bad blood. There's going to be chirping. There's going to be push and shove and chippiness, fights, everything. This is up to the official of this group to keep control of this game. We saw in the Panther uh, 49er game last week that they kind of let it uh, get out of hand, and the 49ers were able to keep chirping, keep getting in the face of the Carolina Panthers players, while when the Panther player retaliated, he was getting the flag. So, this game's going to be physical, it's going to be chippy, it's going to be hard-nosed, and this might be the best game all year. You know, these teams know each other, they don't like each other, they know what's at stake, and it's going to be, I can just imagine the chirp match between Anquan Bold and Richard Sherman. It's going to be a verbal battle for the ages. So, basically this game comes down to who's going to make the mistake. Is Russell Wilson going to make the mistake? Is Kaepernick going to make the mistake? And who's going to get the explosive play? Because both these defenses are very solid. Seattle has a great advantage. Like Ron Jaworski has said on ESPN multiple times, they have two great safeties who both can play in the box and both can play in coverage. They have corners who can lock down the edges, linebackers who, in, who can run with Vernon Davis, and they're very stingy against the run. San Francisco, same way. They have big physical corners on the outside. Bowman and Willis in the middle are just unstoppable, and they're, they're just physical all around. I think the defenses, we both know, are very sound and very uh, structured. It's going to be... Who makes the mistake on offense? You know, Seattle really doesn't have the offensive weapons. Percy Harvin may not play, so uh, they're really going to have to rely on Marshawn Lynch a lot and that offensive line to be able to push that defense around. San Francisco, on the other hand, has a little bit more explosiveness. Crabtree coming off a big game. Bolden coming off a huge game. Cop Cap Colin Kaepernick with his legs, excuse me. 
Frank Gore running the ball. You know, they have a lot of weapons, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a real test because it's going strength on strength, hard nose on hard nose. This is really a bloodbath for the uh, NFC Championship, and it's really the matchup we all thought we were going to get all year long. I think Seattle's at home. They have the advantage. That crowd noise is nuts, and fans want to go back to the Super Bowl. They know what's at stake. They expect that place to be loud. Expect the Seahawks to be fired up. You know, and then. You know, that's where they won already this year. You know, San Francisco beat Seattle in San Francisco, and Seattle won at home. I think home field advantage is such a huge aspect in this game. I think uh, Seattle's going to win a very close game, a very low-scoring game, and Colin Kaepernick making the mistake late. So I think the final score is going to be Seattle 20, San Francisco 13, and a very close, very low-scoring game can go either way. It's going to come right down to the wire, and I think uh, Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch make one more play than Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers do. So, that is my preview. The preview is good. The predictions are probably going to be wrong. It is what it is. So, that's all I got for today. Hope you all enjoy this Sunday football. No, I'm going to be glued to the seat all day. You know, it's the last real Sunday before the Super Bowl. And uh, sure, it's going to shape up to be a good one. So, that's all I got for today. Ocarina Fire checking out. Have a good one.